everybody. This is just a quick little video to show you an album that I made. It was fully inspired by Tisha Moore. Um, I can't, it's been so long since I made the book that I can't remember if I made it exactly like she does, but if it's not exactly, it's pretty, pretty darn close. So what I used where I had to join the pages, I don't know what this is called. Again, I got it at the dollar store. I seem to get all my binding tapes there. But this is paper. It's like brown. It's like... When you get cardboard boxes come and they're, you know, they're put together and they're sealed with this paper tape. It's like that, except there's none of those strings. But the feel of it is the same. It's like paper. And it's super sticky. So that is what I used for where I had to join the pages together because mine... My papers weren't as big as hers, so I couldn't do, I couldn't have this long strip and just simply do the folds to get her, the way she did her pages. I had to join pieces together in order to do the same thing. So, now the collage, I didn't copy anybody's collage, I just did my own stuff. Um, a lot, most of the images are from Crow Boat Studio B or it's called Mischief Circus. I'm not sure which name they go by. And some of it like this here, this is old scrapbook paper and then I just took some gel pens and colored it in. So my front cover, I did the cover so it wrapped around. This whole piece here, that is a sheet. And I'm sorry, but I can't tell you which packages that I, like, which packages on Crowbit Studio that, like, this image comes from and this image comes from. I have no idea. Because I just print a whole bunch and I cut them out and they're not always attached to the sheet that it came from. So, I'm sorry, but I, all I can tell you is that it came from Mischief Circus. So either, I think it's MischiefCircus.com. But I'm sure if you Google Mischief Circus or Crowbit Studio B, you'll be brought there. And if I remember, I'll put the link to the website below the video. So, I like to add quotes to my pages. And... I'm getting a little better at lettering. Like this was in the very beginning, so it's nothing too fancy, but I still like it. This was actually printed on the image from Crowbit Studio. So it says, be open to what comes next. And the quote says, life is so much simpler when you stop explaining yourself to people and just do what works for you. then I'm not going to be able to get the full thing in frame all the time. I'm going to fold that one. So then I worked, like you see this opens. So this one is just a simple little section. It just says art and transform. So again, all these images is from Mischief Circus and this is Doodles. And there's some washi tape on the corner, on the edge. And, yeah, I think all these images are for Mischief Circus as well. It says, let your weird light shine bright so other weirdos know where to find you. <laughs> I like that. Then we have doodles again. This collage stuff it's so fun. 
it's relaxing and it's freeing. It's it's just a nice thing to do. Like I find on Instagram or YouTube, you're me anyways. I'm always like I don't want to just post anything. Like I don't know. I feel like it needs to be worthy of an Instagram post. I know that may sound silly, but I don't know. That's the way I am. Like if I don't think it's super nice, I don't want to post it. And this like I didn't film any of this. I just sat down free of the cameras, free of filming, had no plans on sharing it. This was just for me to play and have fun. And I highly recommend it. So this says, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I always knew the woman I wanted to be. That quote is by Diane von Furstenberg. I'm probably not saying the names right. And then this one says, the size of your dreams must always exceed your current, current capacity to achieve them. If your dreams do not scare you, they are not big enough. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. This one, sorry, I'm getting a glare. Nothing is permanent in this crazy world, not even your mistakes, failures, or troubles. So laugh at the confusion, live consciously in the moment, and enjoy your life as it unfolds. You might not be exactly where you intended to go, but you are precisely where you need to be to take the next best step forward. That's by Jacqueline. Aden or Aden, Aden, Jacqueline A D A N forty four. So I don't know. I must have got that on Instagram. Maybe who knows? <laughs> okay, this spread. This is a combination of a lot of it is mischief circus, but then like this is a TV. So there was this dude holding a TV. And that came from a grocery store flyer. And then this head and the hair and this 12. This is from Mischief Circus. And like these words and this. So it just combined, you know, magazine or flyer pictures with Mischief Circus. Same thing, um, this part of the girl that is from the same flyer and then all the rest is Crowbite Studio. So this one says, in the new year I will cultivate the habit of being positive, mindful and grateful. Foster personal growth and live life curiously, courageously and passionately. And I don't have who that's by and then this says, change for the better, believe in you. And here it says, be anything you want to be and be many things. Ralph Lauren. This one, when we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. Um, Paulo, C-O-E-L-H-O. -E I really like this one. And you'll see in the background, like this one I used paint, and then I know this is a crafter's workshop stencil. No? I think it's an art foamy. It's very faint, but there's a leaf pattern. And it's an art foamy, and the design is by Balzer Designs. Let's so say you can see it in this one too. See this green? That is the art foamy as well. I don't think the rest had, no, the rest were just plain paint. Okay, this one, it says, happiness is a choice, not a result. 
Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. Uh, no person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you. It can only come from you. I think that's really good. So this is spirit art. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> Just something silly. That's why I like about the collage stuff too. It's like permission to be silly. Oh, this is one big spread. So I'll start over here. And it says, courage doesn't happen when you have all the answers. It happens when you are ready to face questions you have been avoiding your whole life. Shannon L. Alder. And this is actually a little doll I made from pieces from Mischief Circus. So everything moves. And this is a stencil from the Crafters Workshop, Many Stones Divided. And this is all hand lettering and doodles. And then all the rest. This is an image from a magazine or a flyer, but I'm not sure what one. And then the elements are from Mischief Circus. So I, I really like how I wrote this quote. It actually turned My camera stopped recording. I'm not sure at what point it stopped, so I'll read this quote again. It says, in the end, we won't remember the most beautiful body and face. We'll remember the most beautiful heart and soul. That is very true. And then this one, I did this, so I think I drew, yeah, I drew this face and painted it. And I did it so the lines, like her chin is here, and the, it would line up with the face that's behind it. And then I attach some images from Mischief Circus. So it says, you know that moment when something feels off? It is. Trust your gut. This has a lot of crafters workshop stencils in it as well. This is one, I believe that one, I think that one's Dramatic Floral by Balzer Designs. And the, there's a house stencil back here, and this is another stencil back here. Okay, I found my stencil sheet so I can tell you what the stencils are. So this one like I said, is Dramatic Floral by Julie Fay Fan Balzer. And then you will see, like here, there's bits of this one, which is by Gabriel Polacco, and it's called Crazy Waves. And then this one, the buildings, that one is, oh no, it's not that one. It's this one by, or by Marlene, and it's called Floating City. So that's right here. And then you'll see some stars here. That one is another one by Carmen Midland. And that one's called Constellations. I think that's all, yep, yeah, that's all the stencils in that one. And this one says, watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. And I don't know who wrote that one.
like the fish with the legs. <laughs> Wearing the hat. It's just fun. This one says, it might take a year, it might take a day, but what's meant to be will always find its way. I like this one too. Actually, I like the whole album. This album makes me so happy. I just, I don't know, it's just so fun. Like, honestly, I think everybody should try it at least once and see if you like it. Like, to me, I just, I can't say enough how much I like it. This one, I think all these images are from Mischief Circus. This is this leopard pattern, that's scrapbook paper. And then all this is doodles. And it says, remember you have been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. And this is a, in the background, it is Carabell Studio Stencil. Accumulation de Rons? I don't know. I'm guessing a grouping of circles or an accumulation of circles. It's Carabell. And that is it for my album. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So much so that I started a second one. And I don't have much done to it yet. Like I just made it this weekend. And this one is not exactly made like this one, but it, it's pretty close. This one I didn't do the flap around for the cover. But I love the cover. Love it. And in the background it's very faint because I did tone on tone with the color. But there is a crafter's workshop stencil back there. And it's that um, dramatic florals one again. It says creative people don't have a mess. They have ideas lying around everywhere. So these are books and this person, that came from a magazine and I can't recall what magazine. I did have a bunch of Teen Beat magazines, I think that's the name of it. There were magazines from my daughter from when she was little. She does not still look at Teen Beat. She is almost 19 years old so she's way past that. But I told her not to throw out the magazines that I could possibly use the images as it's full of people. So that's what this came from. And then I added some different eyes and all the borders from Crowbite Studio. The border is, this is a stencil that I cut on, okay, on my silhouette because I wanted straight borders. So I just, this is a 12 by, well it was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and I just repeatedly did the pattern so I could cut strips to make the border. It would have been much simpler and next time I do a sheet I'm just going to simply draw black lines on a white sheet of paper and go all the way across. Because who cares if it's a little, like, I can't do straight lines. It won't be straight. I can guarantee you that. But who cares when you're doing something like this? It doesn't matter. So anyway, yeah, I love the cover. This one I used Mod Podge. And I never use Mod Podge. Never. And I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. It makes it very easy to get the images down. I do like that. And you're getting it sealed, which I also like. 
because I even went over this lettering. So now I feel much more comfortable about that. The only thing I'm not sure of is if I like the matte look. So I don't know, but I do. And you get these bubbles. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see. So I'll just give you a flip through of how I constructed this one. This one I did not use that big brown tape. I used that um, sports tape that I used for my Everything Circles album. I used that stuff. And we'll see how it holds up. Like I was wondering when I bought more, I was wondering now how is, is that going to stay together well? Because it's sports tape. so. You know, like you put a bandage on your body, you want to be able to take it off like without too much trouble. So I'm like, hmm, <laughs> what does that mean for my album? But this, it's acrylic paint, but it's very watered down. Like I spritzed my page with water and I loaded my paintbrush with water. And so this took a lot of water and it is showing no signs whatsoever with coming up. So that's promising. So anyway, here's my album. I did the flap again. I love flaps. And this one's just plain. It's another flap. And this one I put a circle in the center just to try something different. I did that. Flap on that end. And the same. So I don't like to make them too big. I like how, I mean, if you were totally ambitious and did nonstop crafting, or if you didn't easily get distracted and waste tons and tons of time doing stuff that doesn't really need to be done, like I do, then I'm sure, I'm sure Tisha Moore could knock one of these out in a weekend, no problem. Like she even said herself, like she works fast. Like her method of doing it, she'll paint all her pages and then she'll go in and do all of her borders and then she'll go in and add images and then lettering and pen work but like so she doesn't sit down and do a page and then sit down and do a page like I do she does the whole thing I don't know if I could do that <laughs> so yeah there are my albums and I actually did I don't know if anybody's interested you can let me know in the comments if you're actually interested in seeing the process but I did record this I didn't record me doing the lettering because that's a lot of work and that would be that would be like an hour long and even sped up it would take a long time and I'm just drawing the letters so but I did you know record the painting the background and gluing everything down. So if you're interested in seeing process videos for the collage work, let me know. Because if you're not, then I won't bother continuing to record. So thanks so much.